students, I hope you all are fine and are doing great. I'm back again with yet another very interesting topic for you guys. Today we are going to talk about importance of sunlight for plants. I'm sure you all know that how important sunlight is, but we'll see today that how is it important for plants. The sun is a renewable energy source that plays a pivotal role in our everyday life, from warming the earth to the water cycle. It is an essential part of our daily existence. Did you know that the sun also plays a critical role in the growth of plants? Without the sun, plants wouldn't get the necessary food needed to grow, reproduce and survive. Plants need three basic things to live. Sunlight, water and carbon dioxide through a process called photosynthesis, The plants use the energy from the sun to convert carbon dioxide, soil nutrients and water into food. Without the sun, plants can't get the food they need to grow, reproduce and survive. Now, unlike animals, plants are autotrophs, meaning they create their own food source. They use energy from light or from the sun, water and gases from the air to create glucose. This process is photosynthesis and all plants, algae and even some microorganisms use it. Now let's see how photosynthesis works. A plant absorbs carbon dioxide from the air through tiny holes in its leaves, branches, stems, flowers and roots. Water from the soil through its roots and light energy from the sun to perform photosynthesis. Light energy triggers a chemical reaction breaking down carbon dioxide and water molecules and rearranging them to create sugar, as in glucose and oxygen gas. Sugar is then broken down by the hard-working organelles called chloroplasts, which are most abundant in the cells of the plant's green leaves, into energy to fuel the plant's growth and repair. The oxygen gas produced by the plant goes back into the atmosphere via the same little holes that absorb the carbon dioxide. Now, the photosynthetic process. Photosynthesis is a complex process with two stages. The first stage is a light-dependent reaction when photons from sunlight hit the plant's leaf, galvanize the light-absorbing pigment chlorophyll and activate electrons. This divides water into oxygen and hydrogen ions. The second stage is a light-dependent reaction. It uses the energy from the light reaction to convert carbon dioxide into glucose through a series of chemical reactions that begin with three ribulose biphosphate and end up with the same molecule, producing glucose in the process. The plant uses glucose in different ways. It can convert into chemicals needed to grow plant cells like cellulose or starch that it can store until the plant needs to convert it back to glucose. It can break it down during respiration, releasing energy stored in the glucose molecules. A plant doesn't need energy from the sun for respiration. The plant doesn't get enough light from the sun. The photosynthetic process slows down, even if it has sufficient water and carbon dioxide. Increasing the light intensity will boost the speed of photosynthesis. Likewise, if a plant doesn't get enough carbon dioxide, this limits the photosynthetic process even if it gets plenty of light. Sometimes, farmers use artificial lights to let plants photosynthesize beyond daylight hours. So students, I guess that was lots and lots of information about how important sunlight is for plants, right? For more amazing content, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope you guys are enjoying our videos. Until next time, take very good care of yourself. Bye-bye.